everybody. Welcome back to my workshop and welcome back to my garage. I'm really excited about this video and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing another Pango Music Kit review. Uh, this time it's actually sponsored by Pango Music. Uh, they did reach out to me after the last video that I did on my Pango Kit for the Flying V Kit and I'll put a link for that build series down in the description below. That way you can take a look at it. But they reached out and asked me if I'd be interested in doing another review and of course after the experience I had with the first kit I said absolutely. So I picked a kit, they sent it to me, is let's just go ahead and get it unboxed. So far I have not looked at this kit. As you can see it is all sealed up. It came very well packaged. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're just going to open this up together and see what we get. So I'm going to pan the camera down. Uh, we'll get this cut open and see what we have. Down the top. All right, so this looks pretty good. This looks packed up really well. Let's check out the neck first. Uh, the packaging is good. It's no damage in it, and this did ship all the way from China. Uh, so the box looks really good, a really good job of packaging. What I did is I chose their headless guitar kit, if you can't tell by looking at it already. Uh, I thought that would be a really interesting kit to build. So let's take a look and see what we got. The neck looks nice, 24 fret neck. Feeling down the sides. Uh, it feels good, but the fret's feeling really good. Uh, the fretboard looks good, smooth surface on the neck itself, so that's good. And just a quick look at the frets, everything looks seated. I'll give you a look down the fretboard there like that. All the frets look good and seated, I don't feel any sharp edges at all on that. So the neck looks really good. And next what we have is the body. This is a mahogany body with a quilt maple veneer on top. So that's a really nice looking quilt maple on there. The mahogany on the body looks, it looks good. This is a two piece body as you can see, uh, the seam down the center. And of course with the neck, this is a one piece neck uh, as far as the shaft wood goes. Uh, no need for a scarf joint on this because it is a headless design. No binding on this. I like the way that they've kind of sculpted the edge with the veneer right up to it. It does have a nice looking quilt. Uh, I don't see any glue marks where the glue seeped through the quilt at all. So that should make for a nice finish on this. As you can see this is set up for a humbucker in the bridge, a single in the middle, and another humbucker in the neck. Two controls and a blade switch. Take a quick look here and see how the neck joint is. It's There we go. It's nice and snug, but it's not loose at all. It's nice and snug, but it's not too tight either. So that's going to make for a nice, nice neck joint. You can see here, the neck joint looks good on that. Uh, it's a good fit. So there's no gaps. So that looks good. So a nice neck to body fit. And the fretboard does come right up just almost to the edge of the humbucker. So that's going to allow room for the humbucker rings to go in there. One thing that's important when you're doing a neck, you don't want to just slide it in because it's kind of tapered. It's going to be wider here than it is here. So that is for us to press in from above. The same as when you want to pull the, take the neck out. Don't just grab a hold of it and pull it straight out. What you want to do is you want to bring it up and out because especially right here, this being as thin as it is, it could very easily crack right in here. And that's not something that you want to do. It comes with the hardware. See what we've got from a hardware standpoint. We can get rid of this. It's no longer needed. All right, got some business cards for the marketing manager for Pango guitar kits. We have our neck mounting hardware. Uh, what we have is it's black hardware, as you can see. Uh, it will not have a neck plate. So what'll happen is we'll put these ferrules down into the holes and screw into that. It comes with a guitar cable and adjustment wrenches. Uh, these are going to be for adjusting the truss rod, for adjusting the bridge, that sort of thing. Output jack. 
nice metal output jack, so that's good. Very similar to the Switchcraft jacks that I use a lot of times. Uh, I'm not sure who made this one, but it does look like good quality. Uh, we do have the three-way switch comes already wired. Or actually, it's five-way switch comes already wired. And as you can see, what we've got is we've got a single volume and a single tone. The solder joints seem to be really good on this one. Then we've got our lead wires coming off of it. Comes with all the mounting hardware and the screws. The harness on this one looks really good. Uh, that was one issue that I did have with my Flying V kit when I built it. The harness kept breaking at the solder joints. So I'm really glad to see that that one's wired up a lot nicer. This goes at the top of the, the, uh, the neck. And as you can see how that's gonna fit in there. That way it kind of covers up the ends of that neck, finishes it off very nicely actually. Um, and it's got room for the ball ends of the strings to go in and to clamp the strings down. As you can see, this is gonna be a zero fret. Uh, so it doesn't really have a nut per se. What it has is this fret is gonna be my zero fret and everything will be based off of that when we go to do our level crown and polish. So this definitely looks like a nice headpiece for retaining the strings as the string retainer. Uh, I think it's gonna accent very well up at the top. Uh, and it does seem to be of good quality. And then let's see what we have for pickups. I was very surprised on my Pango Flying V kit that I built. Uh, the pickups on that sounded really, really good. I'm still in the process of doing an upgrade on that where I am going to put a set of the pickups that I make into it. And I will probably do something similar on this as well. Uh, but let's see what we got for the pickups. They are marked for bridge and neck, uh, and of course the pickup rings help determine that too. Uh, you can see this has the thicker pickup ring on it, so this is the bridge pickup. Uh, this has the thinner ring on it, so that's going to be the neck pickup. And then of course, here's the, the middle pickup as a single coil. Uh, but like I said, I was really surprised with the way they sounded in my Flying V, so uh, we're going to definitely take a look at these and, and give these a go and see exactly what kind of sounds we get out of them before we even think about doing any upgrades. This, I am really, so far, this looks really, really good. Uh, as a headless guitar, all the tuning will, as will be done at the bridge location. Uh, this bridge looks very good. It's got nice screws for intonation. Uh, where I can adjust the set, or I can adjust the saddles here uh, to set up intonation, and then these turn here to do the tuning. And for uh, when we go to do the tuning, this just plugs right into the side here. And what this is is a little key to pull out. It's got a neural knob on it. I can drop it into the tuner, and I can use that to the, do the tuning. So that's a nice little feature. I really like that. And it's magnetized, so it stays in there and you're not going to lose it. So let's take a quick look and see what this is going to look like once we get it all together. I do want to be careful. I don't want to be banging the wood around. Uh, like I said, it does have a nice, it's not ready to finish yet, but it does have a good smooth finish on it. So that's good. Uh, it's, it's been well sanded to the point that it is anyway. So as we know, this is going to be the bridge pickup. I'm just going to set that in there, kind of get an idea. We're just kind of looking to see what this thing is going to look like. Pretty good there. Let's see how this looks. So, what do you think? I think that's going to look pretty darn good. So far, an initial review of this, I, I really am impressed with the way the kit looks. Let's pop this out. Let's see what we got here. The control cavity looks good. No real issues there of chip out or tear or, or fuzziness because a lot of times what you'll get is you'll see a little bit of fuzz and stuff hanging off the edge of the, the wood, but this has been nicely routed. It's got a nice tummy contour on it. Is let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of output we have on the pickups. So the middle's reading 5.42K. That's about right. I mean, most of my strap pickups that I make, uh, when I wind them, they come in at 5.4 to 6, somewhere around there. Here's the neck pickup. Let's give it a test, see what we got here. Ooh, 9.99 for the neck. That's not too bad, a little on the hotter side. So a little hotter than what a vintage pickup would be. This is the bridge, and the bridge is coming in at 12.37. So now we've seen the guitar coming out of the box. Kind of got an idea of what it's gonna look like. Really, overall, great packing. No damage to the body, no damage to the neck. 
all the hardware looks good. Really looking forward to get rolling with this and get this kit built and see what we think overall and see how this thing plays when it's all said and done. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description below for this guitar, but basically just a quick recap on it. Uh, this is their ZQN-007 DIY headless guitar kit. You can get this in a couple different varieties. You can get it with a normal top. You can get it with the humbucker single single. You can get it with the tremolo. A lot of different varieties that you can choose from. Uh, the one that I chose, of course, is the humbucker single humbucker uh, with the hardtail bridge. A quick rundown on the specs of this guitar. Uh, the body is a two-piece mahogany body with a quilt maple veneer. Uh, the veneer is standard thickness. It's about 1 32nd of an inch thick. The neck is a one-piece maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard on it. Uh, it's got nickel, normal nickel frets on it. Uh, it is 24 fret and it's a 25 and a half inch scale. So that's going to wrap up this video. I just want to say thank you very much for stopping by the channel. Please, if you like what I'm doing, click like, click subscribe. That way you'll get updates as I post more videos. And until next time, take care.